Well, we are nearing one month since the Robb Elementary massacre in Uvalde, and there have been many ways that horrible day has been described. None of them, however, can fill the silence the victims' families must be facing. One of the doctors who hoped to save their lives is not staying silent, Ursula Perry, with why he put his stethoscope away that day and began to type. Maybe by the time you see this story, you'll be able to read the words University Health Pediatric Resident Dr. Tebra Bonney wrote on ksat.com, an op-ed written a month ago about what he saw and felt. It was horrific, terrifying, somber, um, devastating. That evening after the tragic event, um, I got came off my shift and I just started uh, putting pen to paper. Normally in a mass casualty situation involving an elementary school, a pediatric ER like this would go into high gear. But doctors need patients to work on, and in this case, they didn't have any. So there are supervising um, nurses kept telling us, oh, we're going to get 14 kids, we're going to get 9 kids, we're going to get 15 kids. Uh, we heard that 18 kids injured are coming in route. But no, two of those children would die on their way to San Antonio, and instead of the dozens of lives they expected to begin saving, only one arrived. I did my part. I was ready. I was prepared. I am trained. I don't know who didn't do theirs. His message goes deeper than that. He says he wants to make sure that this sense of helplessness doesn't fade into another news cycle. I don't know who to direct my frustration towards, but I hope someone does something because the number of patients that I should see with gunshot wounds should be zero. Anything above zero is too many. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.